You might want to be out and about today enjoying the warm weather. We're definitely going to hang on to that for a little while longer. In fact, yesterday it felt like summer with the temperature in St. George that climbed to 91. Uh, it was 90 in Milford. Most valleys were in the 80s, including Salt Lake. We hit 87, which uh, put us well above normal for this time of year. Our average high is 75. And we're going to drop well below that by the middle of the week. So enjoy the mild weather while you can. In fact, this morning we're starting out in the 50s and 60s across most of the viewing area. A little cooler in Logan, Elko, and Ely. We're in the 40s. But in Salt Lake, it's 59. In St. George, it's near 70. And we've got fair skies across most of the state. Some clouds in the southeast. Most of the showers have tapered off for the time being. But as a little weather system slides to the south of us, moisture wrapped around that will bring a chance of thunderstorms to southern Utah. But... Uh, for most of the state, it will be a mild and uh, warm day. However, the blue here on the map indicates a trough of pressure that will move to our north late tomorrow into Wednesday, send a strong cold front across the state, and really make it feel like fall. Today, though, it will be sunny with a high of 87 in Salt Lake, so almost a repeat of yesterday. Uh, one of the few bumps in the road is the fact that we'll have some patchy smoke across the north. In the south, it'll be partly cloudy. We'll have a chance of some showers and thunderstorms, mainly over south central and uh, the southeast corner of the state. Uh, some of this could bring some gusty winds, but heavy rain would also be possible mainly over the mountains uh, out of a few of those storms. But in St. George, uh, that doesn't look very likely. It'll be mostly sunny with a high of 88. Tomorrow, patchy smoke. It gets cooler on Wednesday with a chance of some showers, and then you'll be drying out and warming up heading into next weekend. And for northern Utah tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy and a lot cooler. We'll be in the low 70s. Late in the day, we'll have a chance of a few showers that might linger into Wednesday morning. But behind that cold front on Wednesday, temperature will drop all the way down into the low 60s. It's so about 25 degrees colder than what we're expecting this afternoon. Make sure you know where those jackets are. And then later in the week, uh, we dry out, and by the weekend, we'll make it back into the mid-70s. So, Danny, we are all over the place the next several days.